filming the images in this review on a Sony A5100 with a com light adapter. The com light adapter will not let me record video using autofocus continuous, so this is a manual focus only lens when adapted onto my Sony cameras. The Canon EFS 24mm f2.8 STM is a bargain. It cost me only £144 from Amazon.co.uk. The lens comes with front and rear caps but no lens hood. The lens hood from Canon cost me £18.99. This is a screwing type hood and is made from metal. I do find that this lens hood can still let in stray light, so perhaps a larger lens hood is needed. This Canon 24mm is designed for a crop sensor camera only and it will not cover full frame. 24mm on a Sony APS-C body gives you a 36mm field of view. A 35mm lens is a general purpose lens, which is good for travel, street photography and everyday shooting. The f2.8 aperture is also good for low light image making. This Canon 24mm does not have image stabilisation, which is a shame. This pancake lens is made in Malaysia, so don't expect a Canon L grade build. And the lens is not weather sealed. The lens mat is metal, but the rest of the lens is made from a high quality plastic, which does feel solid. The lens only weighs 159 grams, and I'm more than happy with the build quality and weight. The filter diameter is 52mm, which means filters can be found cheap. Unfortunately, the 24mm STM is a focus by wire lens. You can only manually focus a lens when the camera is turned on. One issue with this lens is that the barrel doesn't retract when the camera is turned off. I'm not a fan of focus by wire, but it works well enough on this lens. The front element extends when focusing, but it doesn't rotate, so you can use a polarizer or any other rotatable filter. This lens suffers from strong focus breathing, and one thing to note is that the STM motor is rather noisy. So how is the image quality of the Canon 24mm STM? At f2.8, the lens is sharp in the centre. The corners are soft and show green and red chromatic aberrations on contrasting edges. Top down to f4 and the corners improve. At f5.6, the sharpness is perfect across the entire frame. However, the green and red chromatic aberrations remain. The lens stays is sharp until f10, but the corner CA never goes away. Lens charts are one thing, but in real world images, I find this lens to be ridiculously sharp and perfectly usable at f2.8. The chromatic aberrations have not been a problem in my video images. Now for distortion and vignetting. The lens shows a small amount of barrel distortion, but it's not really noticeable on real world images. At f2.8 the vignette can be seen, but it's gone by f4. Not bad for a small pancake lens, well done Canon. The minimum focus distance is 16cm, so you can get super close to your subject. The f2.8 aperture and 7 iris blades create medium sized bokeh balls. I do see some onion ringing, but there is minimum busyness inside the balls. The balls at the edge of the frame do tend to have a lemon shape effect. I like the bokeh from this lens, and the out of focus backgrounds look nice and soft to my eyes. I really like this lens from Canon. The 24mm STM is a tiny prime lens that covers an APS-C sensor at a bargain price. Yes, it's a plastic lens, but the build quality, small size and lightweight is great. Generally, I don't like the focus by wire lenses, but Canon's implementation is good. I find the images on this lens to be very sharp and perfectly usable when shot wide open. This lens is perfect for travel videos and day trips out. I'd rather use this Canon pancake than any of Sony's overpriced and inferior pancake lenses. For full frame shooters, perhaps Canon's 40mm pancake would be a better choice. I will review the 40mm pancake in the near future. Let me just say that this is a fun lens and should be in your camera bag. The Canon 24mm STM comes highly recommended. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is just a quick update video. I have now bought the uh, Metabones Mark IV adapter, which does seem to work in autofocus continuous. And it should also fix the uh, flocking problem I had with the com light. So yeah, it does seem to work. Okay, and uh, so yeah, great. Thank you, Metabones, and thank you for watching. Cheers.